FIFA 23 stuck on loading screen? Here are 9 ways you can fix it. Before we move forward, do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. It's free and helps us a lot. We do tons of research trying to find the working solutions for you. This way you can stay connected with us and get quick help with your future tech issues. Now let's get started. Method 1 The first thing you need to do is add the game to the antivirus exclusion list on your PC. If you have any third party antivirus, then add the game to the whitelist or exclusion list. Those who are using Windows Defender, here is how you can do it. Type Windows Security in the search bar and select the top result. Select Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and click on Manage Ransomware Protection. Next, click on Allow an app through Controller Folder Access and select Yes. Click on Add an Allowed App option. Browse to the FIFA 23 installation folder and select the exe file. If you don't know where the installation folder is, then open Steam and click on Library. Right-click on FIFA 23 and select Manage and then Browse Local Files. Check the address of the installation folder and browse to it. After the game is added, run the game and see if the issue is fixed. If the issue persists, then try disabling the controlled folder access toggle from the ransomware protection settings. Method 2 The next thing you can do is reinstall the EA anti-cheat. Open the FIFA 23 installation folder. For Steam users, open Steam library and right-click on the game. Select the Manage option and click on Browse Local Files. Now open the Installer folder and then open the EA Anti-Cheat folder. Right-click on the EA Anti-Cheat Installer and run it as an administrator. Select FIFA 23 from the drop-down option and click on Uninstall. Once it's done, click on the Install option. After the installation finishes, start the game and check if the issue persists. Method 3. Another thing you can try is disabling all the in-game overlay. First open Origin and click on My Game Library. Click on FIFA 23 and select Game Properties. Uncheck the Enable Origin in-game for FIFA 23 box and click on Save. Now open Steam. Right-click on FIFA 23 and select the Properties option. And check the Steam in game overlay option. Method 4 Another thing you can do is close any unnecessary apps running in the background. Right click on the task bar and select Task Manager. In the Processes tab, check for any unnecessary processes. Right click on them and select End Task to close them. Apps like Discord, GeForce Experience, Google Chrome are some that you should close before playing FIFA 23. Don't have a solution so far? After the video ends, join our Facebook group where our experts help users just like you solve tech issues every day. Join the group from the link in the description or the pinned comment and ask for help. We promise to help you out. Method 5. The next thing you can try is running FIFA 23 as administrator. Open Steam and click on Library. Right click on FIFA 23 and select the Manage option. Click on the Browse Local Files option which will open the FIFA 23's installation folder. Locate the FIFA 23 EXE file and right click on it. Select the Properties option. Click on the Compatibility tab and check the Run this program as an administrator box. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes.
method 6 the next thing you can do is check the integrity of game files open steam right click on fifa 23 and select properties click on the local files tab and select the verify integrity of game files option wait for steam to finish verifying and once done play the game method 7 another thing you can do is update your graphics drivers if you're using an nvidia graphics card you can use geforce experience to update the graphics drivers if you don't have it installed download and install it from nvidia's website first run geforce experience after you open the app click on drivers and check if any new drivers are available download and install it for amd graphics cards the process is similar but uses the Radeon software instead of GeForce Experience. Run the app and check for any available drivers. Download and install the latest drivers. Restart your PC. Method 8. If updating your graphics drivers don't work, try reinstalling them. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand display adapters and right click on the graphics driver. Select uninstall device and follow as shown. After the driver gets uninstalled, you will have to install it. For AMD graphics driver, install the Radeon app and run it. Similarly, for NVIDIA graphics drivers, you will need to install the GeForce experience. If you already have them installed, simply running them will automatically detect that the graphics drivers are missing and they will download and install them. Restart your PC after the drivers are installed. Then run the app again to check for any updates. If any update is available, download and install them. Method 9 The last thing you can try is uninstall and reinstall FIFA 23. Press the Windows plus R keys and type appviz.cpl. Press Enter to open Programs and Features window. Find FIFA 23 and right click on it. Select Uninstall and follow as shown. Now install FIFA 23 and try running it. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel and get quicker solutions to all your tech issues. Join our Facebook group where you will get direct help on everything tech. Leave a comment and help others know which solutions solved your problem. Thanks for watching and always remember that we are here to help you out.